What's up guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, my Tacoma is getting some new rubber. Shut, Shut up, up and sit down. down. So I'm currently rocking BFKO2 275-7016. Um, they came with the truck when I got it about three years ago. And for those of you who are asking for stock height, there's absolutely no uh, rubbing or anything like that. But I did notice when I did lift the truck with this tire size, they're a bit wider. Um, I was rubbing on the stock UCA just a little bit, but other than that, no rubbing at all. Um, I'm upgrading to a 285-7517, which is a 34 inch tire. And uh, I'm gonna show you guys my new wheel setup um, when I did the prep for the tires. So with the 285-7517 that I'm going with, I am going with the KO2 again. Um, honestly, I think they're a pretty strong tire on forums and stuff. I feel like you hate it or you love it. I did wanna try something else, but uh, to be honest with you guys, they were on sale, so I took them and that is it. So honestly with you guys, um, I do have some uneven wear and tear just in the front, but that's because I just wasn't really religious with the rotation of tires and stuff like that. I kind of just ran them like that. And uh, probably in the next set, I'll probably rotate them religiously so they wear evenly. As for the tire itself, I think it's pretty strong. Um, I do have a bunch of slow leaks everywhere, so I'm filling up my tire every two or three weeks. They're dropping about 10 to 15 PSI. That's probably the reason why I'm getting new tires. Also, I want bigger tires, who doesn't? So now I'm gonna show you guys what I did to prep for the tires. Now, keep in mind this is prep. I'm only gonna really know what more I need to cut off once they're on, but I think I did a pretty okay job doing so. Also keep in mind, some of the modifications I did was because I had the intention of going 35 and be completely honest with you guys with gas prices right now, I think 34 is gonna be okay. I also just wanted to save on the weight too because the truck's also kind of getting heavy with the bumper and sliders and bed rack and stuff like that. So like you see here, I got the trail gear relocation kit. Um, like I said, I had the intention of going 35s, but uh, I did it anyways, got the clearance and that's it. I also did the pinch weld here. As you can see, I don't know if you guys can see that, but basically I hammered it that way. Grinded and hammered it that way. Um, some guys actually cut it, uh, sorry, not cut it, hammer it this way, but I figured this way is mostly where you're gonna get in contact with your tire. So I did it that way. Um, I also cut the fender down here, kind of on an angle. I don't know if it's gonna be enough or not. Like I said, I'm gonna see once the tire's on if I have to cut more or not. And then I use gravel guard everywhere to kind of secure it. Tires are actually going on tomorrow morning, so stick around, keep on watching. And uh, next up, I'm gonna show you guys the new UCAs I got and my wheel setup. So now I'm gonna show you guys the wheels I went with in the dungeon basement. Hello kitty. So here are the wheels I went with. Um, they're 17 by eight steelies. At first I was gonna get some pro comps, but honestly, like you can't really justify buying fancy wheels if they're just gonna get scratched up. Like my stock ones right now are all scratched up from on the trail, so. No point in spending money when things are just gonna get ruined. It is a bit heavy, but whatever. Um, they're 17 by eight with a zero offset. I'm hoping they clear my caliper. I mean, they're, I checked some of that guy's builds on Tacoma World that had this and it was okay. I do have wheel spacers, so if that's the case, they'll go on just fine. Um, I got the lug nuts here and some other stuff there. And here, I got new upper control arms, SPC. Um, they're used from an Instagram homie that sold them to me for cheap. Bushings and ball joints are intact, so you know what, they'll do the job. Stick around guys, cause tomorrow we're going to four wheel parts to get the tires installed.
Good morning, guys. I'm beyond pumped to get this done. So we're heading to four wheel parts right now. Probably gonna do, probably gonna do a classic Canadian thing, get some Tims on the way. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping they're gonna let me film inside. I know the guy's pretty well, but uh, we'll see. If anything, I'll film a bit from the garage in the back, but uh, yeah, we'll see what's going on there. I am stoked. I am beyond stoked, so uh, we'll catch you guys in a bit. So I just arrived. I'm gonna go in, check it out, see if I'm able to film, and hopefully get you guys some behind the scenes footage. So I'll see you in a bit. So they're gonna leave the garage door open in the back, so hopefully I can get some good footage. So uh, we're gonna go around back and we're gonna go check it out. So good news, the upper control arms are on and the steelies clear the caliper. So now tires are next. That's the difference. A 31 and a 34. Let's go. B-roll. Right, guys here it is the final product I'll show you guys in a sec here no rubbing when I turn on road and the rear I think when I flex out I'm gonna have to chop a little bit just this little part off maybe but I'll show you guys um, full wheel turn in just a sec I do think I'm gonna take a little bit more off here too. Just kind of go in on an angle and right here like that and bring it all the way through because I know for sure this is gonna rub once flexed out. that sums it up for this video thanks guys for watching um if you have any questions or anything about the the rubbing and cutting just hit me up on instagram or leave a comment here um be sure to subscribe because this summer i'm going to try to do a lot more filming than i did last summer on trails and stuff which i'd rather do than uh product and installs and stuff so uh yeah keep it cool and uh subscribe thanks